Hello everyone, this is Noble Tech, and today we are here with another review of Maine Association of Math League score. It is the school year 2015-2016, meet number 2. We also have the meet number 1 scores for historical context, just in case we want to compare. So, these are all of the meet 2 scores, and on this page, you can kind of see the top 40 people, except there's more than 40 people, because 6 people tied for 38th place. So, at the top, you have Elliot Youth, Connor Thompson, uh, Gordon McCullough, Brett, uh, Brett Ki um, Kia Kia Ji, for 5th place, Brett Foster, Hyun Feng Chen. Um, both of these people are the top 10th graders and top 11th graders. Emmanuel Tung, Sammy Mushtak. Uh, which is my brother, Son is Sullivan, and Gregory Pershing. And then at the bottom here, you have me, who's the top freshman, at 18th place. So overall, if you kind of look at the scores, you can kind of see that some people went up, so like this person went from 50 to 55, and some people went down, so this person went from 55 to 48. Like, I went really down, I went... I did really bad at this meet because this was also my worst meet last year. So, and as you can see, if we go down the bottom here, uh, 51 to 43, 55 to 38, uh, 51 to 40, 51 to 40, 51 to 40, 47 to 44, 55 to 36, 55 to 36, and then this person, 46 to 42, 51 to 37. So there's also people that went up too. So 41 to 47. So overall, at least in my opinion, this was a harder meet, even though. Obviously, some people went up, like 55 to 57. So there are some people that went up, and some people that went down. But in my opinion, this was a hold meet. This was one of the hold meet. That, at least in my personal opinion, although not, not everyone will agree with this, this is the hardest meet of the year. Because it, last year, I did really good in meet 3, 4, and 5. Prob but this meet has a lot of word problems, and meet 3, 4, and 5 kind of has more formulas, especially meet 5. So, this is me too, and let's just compare the scores from last meet to this meet. So who's at the top? I, I'm at the top of the last meet. And I went down to 18th place because I did so bad at this meet. Uh, Sammy Mushtak. Sammy Mushtak is in 8th place uh, with 108 points because he got a 48. That's my brother. Loda Zhang. Loda Zhang is not on this list. There's no one named Loda on this list. So if you go here, Eastern Maine. Look for Loda. Okay, so this is Loda Zhang from John Baptist. And she got a 26 on this meet. She, which makes her total 86. Because she got a 60 on the last meet. So that means she's below the top 40. So she's probably in the top 50, somewhere in the 40th range. So. I don't know if we're going to see her on this list again. So I, I will look for her on this list after meet 3 and see if she recovered because she it, she is almost in the top 40 which seems to be what this list is based off of although if you look here because there were so many ties in the last meet they made it to the top 50 but for this meet they made it to the top 40 and next time they make they might make it the top 30 since usually the top 30 are the people that are picked for the national competition or more so I don't know how they're doing this how, how this list is compiled, because right now it's the top 40, but that might change. So, I'll see if she's on this list during meet 3. Because she got a 60 last time, and she might be able to do better on meet 3, if she's like me, and she thinks that meet number 2 is really hard. Okay. And Elliot Youth is first. Connor Thompson is second. And then we have people that got 55 and jumped up to 3rd place. All, all of these people got 55 on the first meet, and he jumped up to the top 10. This person got a 49 on the first meet, and he jumped up. So, M Emmanuel Tung. Emmanuel Tung got a 40, was 47th in the state before this meet, and now he's 7th. So he jumped up 40 places. And then we have Sammy, uh, Sean Sullivan, Gregory Pershing. And yeah. Oh, and more on Lotus Jane. This person is from the same school as Loda Zhang, except they have a different first name. So I'm assuming they're siblings. And I. Steve Zhang. 
So on this list we have both we have both Steve Jing and Loda Jing. Steve Jing was tied for sixth and now he's fourteenth. So I thought that was interesting. Now okay so I'm kind of done reviewing the individual scores for the state. So now I wanna go to the schools because I don't think I explained how the school scores work. Um the last time I did one of these videos. The school scores work like this. This is the what league they're in, Pycon South, Northeast, North, Eastern, Pycon South, North, like that. And these are all of the rounds. There's five rounds, round one, round two, round three, round four, one, round five. And then for schools, there's a team round that all of the team gets together and do, does together. And then they add all of those up to get your meet score. The way they get the round score is that for the team, they look at all of the papers of the students for that round, just for that round. And then they see, they t pick the top six papers. And one student can get out of 12 points on one round. So they pick the top six papers, and then they add them all up. So the total possible point is 72. So if you look here, th this MSSM Ivory got, for the first three rounds, they got a perfect score. They got six students that had a perfect score on each round, on round one, round two, round three, which is really good. So if, you, if one team gets a 72 on one round, that's a perfect score. And for the team round, there's 9 problems, 10, 12 minutes, all of the team works on it together. And that's out of 36, because there's 3 3-pointers, three 3-4-pointers, three and 3 5-pointers. So, as you can see here, Bingo Red got a perfect score on the team round. So, and for historical context, I also have the school scores from Meet 1. Okay, so these are the school scores from Meet 1. Last time, Bingo Red was in first, now they're second. MSS Ivory was second, now they're se first. John Baps was third, now they're fourth. Fireburg was fourth, now they're third. So MSS Ivory and Bingo switched, John Baps and Fireburg switched. As you can see, MSS Ivory and Bingo are both in the um, low 700s, 740, 720. And then there's a gap between second and third, a 46 point gap between 2nd and 3rd, and then uh, Firebook and John Baptist around each other. And then from 4th to 5th, there's a 65 point gap to 3rd in the Academy. 3rd in the Academy was 5th last time, now they're also 5th again. And then Marshwood was 9th, then Marshwood is my school, Marshwood was 9th last time, they jumped up to 6th. And right behind 3rd in the Academy, so there's a 3 point gap right there. So as you can see, 1st and 2nd, 3rd and 4th, 5th and 6th, and then... 7th, 8th, and 9th all in the 550s. Scoreboard A. Scoreboard A was 6th last time, now they're 7th. MSSM Emerald was 10th last time, now they're 8th. Chevros was 7th last time, and tied with Greeley, and now they're 9th. And Greeley is to 7 points behind Chevros. We remember Greeley was tied with Chevros last time. So, there's like these pockets of closeness, and then there's just big gaps. Which is extremely interesting. Oh, and 11th, 541, and then there's kind of a gap before Kennebunk. And then another gap. And then and then we just get into the, like, the top 20s and 30s. So at the top, there's, there's kind of like these pockets of really closeness. And then there's just these really big gaps. So yeah, I, 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 my, my prediction is that these people will stay in 1st and 2nd, MSSM, Ivory, and Bingo Red will stay in 1st and 2nd, Firewood Gold and John Baps will stay in 3rd and 4th, and... Mm, I don't know about our school and 3rd and Academy. Because I remember Chavis was beating us last time. We jumped up. We jumped up because of this meet. So, I think around here, someone else might jump up to beat us, but I just think that there's such big gaps between these people, because we get from, six, that's a 65 point gap, so I don't think anyone's going to be able to jump up to 4th from below that, but I do think someone could jump up and beat Thornton Academy, or beat Morshwood, or Morshwood could overtake Thornton Academy by a lot. I don't know what's going to happen around here, but I do know that th these top 4 people are probably going to stay the same, that's my prediction. Okay, and finally, let's just look at all of the how all of the different leagues did. 
So these are all the different leagues. There's five leagues. Central Main. Okay, so Lincoln Academy is supposed to be Central Main. Oh, wait, no. Probably one. probably want to show you the first team in the state for each meet. So, if you go back up here, Lincoln Academy is 13th, so Central Maine is 13th and below. And these are the top people for in Central Maine. So, go to the individuals. Oh. Hmm. So, seniors are doing much worse than the freshmen no, they're doing much worse than the juniors and sophomores, which is very interesting. Top senior is 75, and the top junior is Van Golanieri, who's right here, and Chad Palmer, who is in 20th place. That's very interesting. The juniors and sophomores are beating the seniors by a long, a long margin. Okay. And then, if you go up here, this is, um... Down East Main. Down East, down east Main. So if we go back to the schools, so after meet two, the top school had a 541, and it says GSA one. Oh, George Stevens Academy. So GSA is George Stevens Academy. So they're in first, and then everyone else is way below them. So like Washington Academy is at 306. So they're at 11th, and first in the league. And then, um, this person got a 43 on this meet. Wait. Okay, so according to this chart, this is really weird. According to this chart, everyone on this list did not participate in meet 1. Which simply isn't true. Because that would mean GSA 1 didn't participate in Meet 1. And that would mean they wouldn't be doing as good as they are. Yeah, they, yeah, they put Am I reading this one? What happened? Hmm. Okay, this is really weird. Oh, okay. So this is the this is the meet one scores. This is the meet one scores, and then the meet two scores start here. Okay, so this is meet two, and for the meet two, I think the top people are seventy eight, eighty, and one hundred three. So Zhu Bohan is probably in the top forty. No. Oh, he is. So his name here is Bear Lazu, and he's in. He's tied for fourteenth place. And that's it. So he's. I think he's. He's the only person from Down East Maine who's in the top forty. That's also interesting. Okay. And here, this is Eastern Maine, which has both Bingo and John Baptist. And then, yeah. So here you can really see. There's a big gap. Yeah, Bango is probably going to be first here, and Don Bap is going to stay second here. And then here, there's more than a hundred point gap between and, and, and second and third in this league. And then a 65 point gap between Bango and John Baps. And then the top. So they have. Let's see. Okay, so the first nine people are all in the top 40. Yes, the first nine. So if you go back here. Um, Connor Thompson, Connor Thompson, um, Steve, Steve Jang, Steve Jang, so I, I talked about him, Quinn Dang, Quinn Dang, uh, Abram, Abram Kalam, Abram Kalam, Dan O'Brien, Dan O'Brien, uh, Bach, oh, Noyen Bach, yeah, ni Noyen Bach 93, John Babs, Noyen Bach 93, John okay, that's the same person, Isaac. Isaac Robinson, Isaac Robinson, Bill, Bill Reynolds, so here, Bill Re Reynolds, Bill Reynolds, 8th, and Lily, Lily Waddell, Lily Waddell, and then here, Loda Jane is 10th, 
and 86. Okay. And... This is Pycon North. Not sure why these are high. Interesting. Okay. So as you can see, Fireball Gold is in the top for this. And fi oh, Fireball is the steaming third. And if you go down here, Kia Kiaji, who is third, tied for third. Uh, Tian Feng Shen, who is tied for fifth. Top, top 11th grader. Ethan. Ethan Wing. Who should be? So Ethan Wing is tied for 11th. Benjamin Andrews. Tied for 11th. And... Hao Zheng. Let me see. Oh, it's Zheng is tied for 30th. And then this person is not in the top 40. So yeah, and then that's pretty much it. And then for PyCon South, PyCon South has a lot of information because you can kind of see. Actually, let's see. No, you can see how like everyone did in each round, just like you can see in Central Main. No, not in Central Main. Down East Main. So if you go to Down East Main, you can see how they did in each round. So you can see the score for round one, round two, round three, round four. So we go here. I just want to see the top person and what how they did in each round. So as you can see, they got an eight in round one, twelve in round two, three, and and five, and then they got a four in round four, and then that that's how they got uh, forty-eight for this meet, which got them to a total of one hundred three. And then Pycon South. So we go to Pycon South. The top 12 people are all in the top 40, so I'm not going to go, all of, go over all of them, because that would be a lot. You have Elliot Youth, Sammy Mustad, Pushing Jerry, Kyle, Kyle Claude, who is tied for 14th, Noel Mustad, which is me, uh, Bao Nyan, tied for 19th, and then we get into like sub 100, sub 20th. Okay. So as you can see, this person struggled on round 1 and round 4, I think. I also struggled on round one, one round four. I got three on both of those rounds. Elliot Youth. Let's see how much problem he got. He got the number four problem on round one wrong. That was a word problem. Well, it wasn't. It wasn't like a story problem, but it, I think the wording of that problem was confusing. So I can understand that. Uh. Sammy got, got a 3 in round 3, he got both of those problems wrong, and then he got the 3 points in round 4 wrong. He told me that the reason he got this wrong is because the problem had something to do with subtracted from, and he didn't understand what that, what the order of the, what the order of the things being subtracted was supposed to be in. So he just misread the problem. Uh, this person. This person got, oh, this person did really good on this meet. 56, and he only got the point four points in round three wrong. I forgot what that was. I forgot what that was about. Kyle Claude got two problems wrong, the five point in round two, so I also forgot, and the three point in round four, which is the one with the weird wording. Well, not the, no, actually, I think round three was actually pretty unambiguous, but it was just, if you didn't know it, if you didn't know what subtracted from meant, you didn't understand it. This one got 3 in round 4, just like me, and he got the 5 point in round 2 wrong. And I should probably see what did what each round was. So, this. And this is me too. Round 1 is arithmetic, and we should post. Round 2 is series and sequences. Round 3 is counting principles and binomial theorem, which is kind of like, you know, it's A plus B in parentheses to the nth power, and just working with things like that. Following normal is round 4. Areas and volume is round five, and round five it allows calculator. So that was Nian Bao Bao Nian, Coleman Dowdle got the four pointer in round one wrong, 
but four points in round three wrong and three in round four. So that was these topics. Jason Redbird. Five points in round one wrong, five points in round three wrong. I, I forget what both of those problems were. No, I think I knew. Oh, the five point in round one. I remember I got it wrong. Oh, it was something to do with joint proportions, inverse proportions, and direct proportions. A lot of proportions. Bit confusingly worded. I, I ran out of time on that problem. Then... Not sure if I want to go through it. I think that's enough. Looking at the scores. So th those are the scores for those meets. And that's pretty much it. Except I did want I think I didn't go over this in the beginning. So this is actually a really close race. Kind of because if you look at the meat one scores, there was extreme inflation. So like everyone got sixties and fifty fives, and like we they all of them did really good. As you can see, there's five people tied for first place. It was like over ten people tied for sixth. So we still kind of have that after effect, I think. There's two people tied for third, and the top 10 people are all within 10 points of each other. The top 20 people are all, well that's not, the 16 points is a pretty big gap, but the, there's 20 people, but they're divided by a gap of 16 points. So, yeah. And, so I think we're still see we're still seeing a close race between the top. I still think like someone from here could still jump up to somewhere in here, just like this person jumped from forty seventh to seventh. So I still think some someone could jump up from twentieth to first. So I have no idea. Other than that, these people are probably going to do really good because they did really good last year as eleventh graders. So Elliot Youth and Connor Thompson are probably going to do really good. I have no idea about everyone anyone else. I do remember Brett Foster was the top freshman last year. He was like the only freshman on this list. Just like I'm the only freshman right now. So he's he he's probably going to do good. I don't remember what he got last year. So yeah, those are my predictions. Those are my thoughts on the scores for this meet. Hopefully I'll be able to do some more math problems next week or the week after. Uh, I hope you like this video and have fun doing your math.